Hi everybody, I'm Scott Feldman, and uh, had some bad news to report today. It's the rocker. It's 2015, and um, Earth is the last planet in the Federation <laughs> to get a switch device driver model in its kernel. <laughs> The good news is we're the first planet to have all of our flow API stuff sort of sorted out. Okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> let's see. So Rocker is a uh, device. It's an emulated device um, that Jerry, where's Jerry? I'm scanning him. He's back there. Jerry and I kind of invented. Um, to fill a gap, and I don't want to go too much into details of Rocker because there's actually a talk on Tuesday that I'm giving on it. And but the gap we're trying to fill is um, the development of this switch to driver model. So, so let me define what that is. That when I say switch to driver model, I mean a in kernel driver model for um, switches to offload the forwarding data plane. Okay, <clears throat> and we invent we had the, we built Rocker, a device, an emulated device that runs in QEMU, um, because there really wasn't um, an enterprise class switch available without signing um, NDAs or SLAs to get access to a, an SDK. And even if you had access to the SDK, it's not something that's really something you can upstream or you know GPL into the kernel as a as a device driver so we just said let's just make a device and that's what rocker is and uh, there's a rocker driver now in the kernel um, and today I would say we pretty much got L2 working there's a few loose ends Rupa mentioned a couple um, so we're able to L, we're able to offload. Um, you, can, you just use all your standard Linux tools to create bridges and set properties on ports on a bridge and everything, and put these Rocker switch ports into the bridge, and Rocker will, in combination with a driver, offload the um, um, the L2 forwarding or switching. I'm also working on, or what's in work in progress right now is doing the same for L3. And this conference has been really good because a lot of people have just been thinking about it as they sleep and they wake up the next morning and, and have ideas, including myself. So I think a lot of the problems are known and solved, at least in our heads, and we'll, we'll try to get some patches out for L3 to add the um, device driver model support for that and have that offloaded to the Rocker device. After that, well, there's other people working on Rocker that I became aware of this this conference also doing things like trying to offload NF tables or um, seems like there was something else that escapes me. Oh, John uses it also for a little bit of prototyping on his his Flow API. Um, David's using it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's. I don't know what what's gonna happen. I mean, I know we know for the um, switch dev driver model that we're trying to create for that goal to offload the forwarding data plane from the kernel. We know all the usual usual suspects. We're just kind of going through the list and and uh, implementing those in the driver and the device and publishing. You know, getting the net dev kernel updated with that. And and it's in QMU now, right? Uh, no, the device, <laughs> the driver's in the Linux kernel as of 3.18, but the device itself being a QEMU device, it's not been accepted, but we're so, so close. It'll, it should be going in right after this conference. And the expectation is that once you have it, like David said earlier, <clears throat> if people want to talk about the interface to their, their non-GPL hardware, implement a rocker module and then you can show software that runs against it well yeah okay or if you have a real device <laughs> yes <laughs> G 
just look at it, Rocker as an example, a Rocker driver, and start, you know, like Mellanox was offering here today, let's just start going through the same progression, get the ports up, start at L2, let's get this thing, get this thing going. And, and you know, this is all about, you know, we're, we're using Rocker, a fake device right now because we have nothing else, but if we get the other vendors um, participating, um, it'll really solidify the APIs. We may have screwed up. There may be things we've forgotten or don't know about, or we've got scalability issues, or, you know. You know. If, if you were the first hardware vendor to put a switch offloading driver in upstream, you're going to be so cool. <laughs> you have no idea what kind of future you're going to create for everyone else. You're, if you're the first, you're going to be really cool. Plus, it works. You, you make sure that it works for your device best, right? And it's we'll harder. help you maintain it. <laughs> exactly. It's a much harder to change the API after the sec or once a second person tries to get in there. Okay, thank you. That's it. So, so no plug for the Rocker Foundation? <laughs> so Scott's starting the Rocker Foundation. Anybody and everybody is invited to join. <laughs>